Hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I'm going to talk about a mutable state uh, list of and uh, I'm going to give you an answer on uh, what that is, uh, when you should use it and uh, how to avoid uh, confusion about the recomposition when using a mutable list. So before I show you how to use a mutable state a list of, uh, first uh, I'm going to uh, showcase here one uh, bad example of uh, using a mutable state with a mutable list. So here, as you can see, we just have one a simple home screen and inside that home screen uh, we have a column which contains one button that says uh, add the number and also down below we have one uh, for each loop in which we are displaying uh, one text element. So basically for each and every element uh, inside this uh, list here, we are uh, showing uh, one text, okay? So from our home screen, we are basically observing this uh, uh, state or this uh, list and also whenever we click our button, we are adding uh, one number to that list. So now let's open up our home view model, which we are using here. So as you can see, our home view model uh, contains uh, two variables and uh, one function. So this function uh, basically is generating uh, one number or one random number from 1 to 100 and that number is uh, immediately added to our uh, elements list. So here you can see that the type uh, which we are using here for this uh, first uh, variable, private variable, is a mutable state, of course, and inside that mutable state we have a mutable list of uh, integer type. So in order to uh, basically add that uh, element from this function to our list, uh, we need to use a mutable list, okay? And our second uh, uh, publicly exposed uh, variable named elements, is using a state in which we have wrapped uh, our uh, list of an uh, integer type. So here we are using a list and not a mutable list because we don't want to be able to change this uh, a variable from our home screen directly, only when calling this uh, add element function. So for now everything here uh, looks fine, however there is a major problem with uh, this approach. So now let me show you. I'm going to run this uh, application. Or let me just here first uh, add one log uh, message. So basically whenever I uh, click the button and add that element to this list, I'm going to print that uh, new element which I have just uh, added. So basically I'm uh, printing the last value of this element list. So now let's run this application and let's observe our logcat as well. So here uh, we have a one button that says uh, add the number. And whenever I click this button, we are going to add a new value, a random number, to our elements list. However, you can see that even though we have printed that value successfully, we haven't been able to see that text in our home screen, because apparently our elements variable hasn't been able to recompose successfully. So uh, if you open up our view model, uh, you will see that we are using a mutable state, which is actually a mutable value holder, which uh, can be observed. And that's totally fine. However, uh, that mutable state actually contains a mutable list. And a mutable list, by default, is not uh, observable. Okay? And that's why we were not able to see that uh, text element uh, here whenever we press that button, because even though we have changed this list, we weren't able to recompose our home screen. So that's the problem uh, when using a mutable state uh, with a mutable list. However, don't worry, there is a solution for that. And now I'm going to show you that solution. So here I'm going to uh, comment out this um, code right here. And down below I'm going to create now uh, two different variables. So here now I'm going to just um, uh, call a mutable uh, state a list of. And then for the type uh, I'm going to specify an integer value. Uh, next, uh, down below, I'm going to create uh, one more variable named elements, which uh, will be publicly exposed to our uh, home screen. And here, as a type, I'm going to add a list of an uh, integer. So here, I'm going to just get the value of our uh, underscore elements variable. So the type of this uh, underscore elements is actually a snapshot uh, state list. And this uh, snapshot state list can be easily converted into an immutable list. Okay, and now let me just uh, clean up this uh, uh, value because we don't need that now. And here I'm going to also uh, just duplicate that. And uh, here I'm going to add an equal symbol because we cannot use uh, by delegate with this um, element uh, from here. Okay, so now let's run our application once again so we can check out and see if now our uh, screen will actually recompose successfully. 
So let's add a number. And now, as you can see, we have uh, printed that uh, value in our log, but also we were able to recompose our elements variable and add a new text to our home screen, which works uh, perfectly fine. So uh, basically, with uh, our mutable state list of, we were able to create an instance of a mutable list and make that uh, mutable list uh, observable as well. So now uh, you have seen the main uh, benefit of using a mutable state uh, list of, which uh, will basically allow us to use a mutable list and observe that mutable list directly from our composable screen. However, if you don't use a mutable state list of and try to use a regular mutable uh, state with a mutable list, uh, then your screen will not be able to recompose because a mutable list by default is not uh, observable. And that's why you need to use a mutable state list of. If you want to use a mutable list uh, and uh, recompose your screen uh, successfully without any problems. So uh, be sure to comment down below and uh, like this video if you find it uh, helpful of course. And uh, see you the next one.